Hi, I'm Maggie here at Sunset Trails again. We are going to talk to you today about one of the most exciting things about spring, whenever our horses start to shed. I always say I never believe the groundhog, I always believe our horses. When they start shedding their fur, then we know spring is here. With spring being here, we have a lot of hair to deal with. So, I brought one of my favorite little friends, Scout here. He is a um, older, kind of mid-twenties Shetland pony, and he has a little bit of Cushing's disease, um, but which means he grows extra, extra hair. I'm kind of jealous of him because he never gets cold, but then going into springtime, it's always very, very important that we brush Mr. Scout, so it's super satisfying when um, he first starts shedding, and I just wanna kinda go over a couple of our grooming tools and things that I like to do to start prepping my favorite horses for springtime. If he wasn't shedding a ton or if I was just giving him a qu quick once over, um, I would just use this basic broadie brush. So this brush you can just use in the same direction as their hair goes, um, just all over their body, um, just to get off any kind of loose hay, shavings, anything like that. If this was the middle of summer and he just had been taking a snooze in the hay, this would be totally fine for Mr. Scout, but um, he is shedding a lot, so I, I really like to um, really, really help him by working out some of his um, hair. You can already see the buildup and just that clean brush from just like three strokes of brushing. So um, our brushes that are, that are our best friends right now, this time of year, are curry combs. So we have our rubber curry combs, and there's several different versions of the rubber curry comb. Um, they can look all kinds of different ways, but they're always going to be basically a uh, brush with a handle on it, like this or like this, and then um, with some kind of rubber teeth on them. These are awesome, awesome, awesome for working out any kind of like um, stuck in hair, really helps loosen up a lot of the hair. Um, as it starts to get warmer again, getting all of that thick winter coat out of our horses. And then this brush is also great. This is our metal curry comb. This brush is amazing, um, especially going into spring. Horses, they are super itchy whenever it gets warm. They're shedding all of their loose hair. They love to get rid of all of that um, loose hair and again, itchy, get everything out. Um, so our metal curry comb is something that is very important um, and also one of your best friends in, this, in the spring and summertime, especially when it's muddy out. So. Um, We'll just start with our rubber curry combs. So um, these ones we just like to use in a circular motion all over our horse's body. Um, both curry combs are made of a firm, this is a kind of a firm rubber, or we also, the metal curry comb is obviously made of metal. So we wanna be um, attentive not to be using that on any of the kind of bonier parts, like on their withers, legs, or face um, of the horse's body. Um, just kind of be aware and your horse will definitely tell you if you're doing something that is annoying or agitating them. So I'm going to just show for a second how we would use our rubber curry comb here. Um, we'll just use this in a circular motion here on our horse's body. And you can see the hair is just flying out of Mr. Scout. He is a great example of our shedding here. It's really fun to brush him. Got to clean your dryer vents in the springtime, but all over his whole body, you can see he's kind of like, oh yeah. Um, make sure you get under their mane. Sometimes um, we forget like his chest area, but again, I'm not going to go down onto his lower legs or onto other parts of his body, but you can see Scout's telling us spring is here and we've got hair just falling off of him. So, hair everywhere. You could do this for hours and he would still have more hair for us. And he's an extra, extra, extra hairy horse. I'm jealous of Scout um, that he's never going to get cold in the wintertime, but he does get very hot in the summertime. So, I like to help him out, especially because he's one of my favorite old men. So, um, then also this brush our metal curry comb when the horses they love to roll in the mud anytime you ride a horse they get a little hot and sweaty it's kind of like taking your roller skates off or your ice skates off and the most cathartic thing ever is just like oh yeah that feeling um same thing for a horse the first thing they're going to do is drop down and roll outside in the dirt or in the mud so they love to get covered in mud 
Um, he's been inside, so he's not super um, muddy, but he did, you know, he was rolling in a stall from all of his hay and everything on him. But um, it's kind of fun with this brush too. You can just see, takes off clumps and clumps of hair. And he's such a hairy guy. I always like to focus right here when we ride him, his girth area. Sometimes he gets a little matted here when he's shedding. So I love to brush Mr. Scout and get all of this hair off of him. And again, you can brush Scout for hours and he will keep on shedding and shedding and shedding. Um, it's always kind of fun at the barn. You'll see, um, a stall, if you have kind of a lighter colored horse, there's always a lighter colored bird's nest above the horse's stall. Or if you have a darker colored horse, there's always darker colored bird's nest in the barn. So um, just kind of fun, makes your horse feel really good. Keeps them nice and clean. And again, I trust when Scout knows spring is here over when the groundhog tells us spring is here. So, but then, I also like to um, brush his mane and tail. Horses are super lucky. They don't have the same feeling in their manes and tails as what we do in our hair. So you're not gonna hurt Scout when you pull on his mane or tail and um, by brushing out tingles or anything like that. With that being said, um, just like if you were brushing your hair, you don't wanna rip through and you know, just rip out their hair or anything like that. Just kind of use common sense. But um, I just like to start um, from the bottom and just kind of work my way up, just like how you would brush human hair, just like this. And it can be really fun to brush your horse's mane or tail and you know, braid, do whatever, especially when it starts to get hotter and they haven't shed out. Sometimes if you're gonna ride, it's nice to put like a braid in your horse's mane and tail, kind of get some of that um, ventilation going on their neck. Um, so this is just kind of our main mane and tail comb. This is the type I prefer. Um, this type of mane and tail comb, some people like these, but you can see this guy's missing a couple teeth because when you get into a thick mane like this, you're just going to um, be breaking off teeth. This brush is no, no match for a beautiful thick mane like Mr. Scout here. Um, one thing I always stress to children, I always treat every horse kind of like a loaded gun, always make sure that we're using our safe practices. So if I were to brush his tail, can't emphasize this enough to children, I'm not going to violate a safety rule and just stand directly behind him. Our horses all have this big tailbone right in here and um, I will just grab his tail and bring it over to the side. That way I'm not standing directly behind him. Again, not all horses are gonna be as polite, been there, done that as Scout. Um, I could probably run and jump on Scout and do whatever, but and know that he's not gonna do anything to hurt me, but you can never be too safe around horses and livestock. And um, again, even though he's small, he's still a horse and he could still hurt you. So stay here to your, the side. Just bring his tail over here. If Scout decided he didn't like me doing something with his tail, then I'm safe and I'm not gonna get kicked or anything like that. So um, when I brush his tail, kind of same way, I like to sometimes put it on my leg. He's got a lot of tail as well. Just kind of brushing it out. Start from the bottom, work it up, work it up, and um, you can go from there. The other thing that we um, do every day for our horses when we are grooming them, um, we do pick their hooves. We'll talk a little bit more about this in a later video, but hoof picking is something that's kind of our daily maintenance hoof care thing for our horses. So um, again, we won't delve into this today because I could talk for hours about hoof care with horses, but hoof picking is something that is very, very important and something that we do um, all the time with all of our horses, regardless of their size. So thank you, Mr. Scout. Ready to brush you some more.